All right, these are my straight razors. This is another shadow box that I built. I put hooks in there to put everything in there. Um, this is a razor we're gonna shave with today. This one's a Wade and Butcher from the 1800s. And this just keeps, um, keeps the dust out of there. Holds them right there. This is the newest one. This is made by Dovo. And these ones you can get pretty much right now. It's going to cost you about 120 bucks, 140 bucks. But this one is only about probably two years old. And there they are. I have a Dovo. This is what they use in barber shops. This is all plastic. And you see it's got a razor blade in there. I don't know if you can see that or not. But you put the razor blade in there and it's made to be disposable. So barber shops can keep, you know, things clean and healthy. And that's my case. I keep all of them in there. Uh, most of these are from eBay. A lot are from thrift stores. And just found them different places. Alright, this straight razor belonged to my great great grandfather. It's made by Holly. Um, I made this little case out of a shadow box. Got a picture of my grandpa. And this one is from about the mid uh, 1900s, early 1900s. I had it redone in beautiful wood scales because the old ones were kind of falling apart. And it's all shave ready. Beautiful razor. It's kind of nice to have a relatives and have a razor that he actually used back when that's that's all there was and this great case I keep it in I love it all right there's my straw three inch cow high to keep it hanging on my uh, bathroom here I actually have three of them. I have a three inch cowhide that you'd finish it up on. Keeping that straight razor uh, in check. Keep it nice and sharp. This is a cotton. And then the last one. This one has chrome oxide paste on it, the green you see. And this is used as like a slight abrasive when it's starting getting a little dull and you need to run it on here maybe about 10, 20 times. Kind of bring that blade up to uh, new again. And then you would hit the cotton probably about 50 times. And then you'd finish it up on the nice leather strop here. You know, 20, 30 times. It kind of all depends on your blade. Did a touch up on my razor, and this one's, you know, like I said, it's not very dull, so it's not going to need a whole much. God, these are so beautiful. This one's a three inch, and I'm going to do the same thing, except I'm only going to do about ten, because it doesn't need very much. You just go up and down. Just let that razor rest right on there, and the natural bevel will keep it where it needs to be. Some people, will, I mean, you might have to do this 50 times, depending on how dull your razor is, and you'll get to know by the feel of it how much you need. That's about right. And this one is ready to shave. All right. my shaving equipment. This is my scuttle, which I got this from George Jam Pottery. You put your little shaving cream in there and it's got wrinkles in the bowl. You can kind of see it helps when you uh, get your badger brush. Helps lather up. You put water in here, hot water, 
and it surrounds the whole bowl and keeps it hot. If you're going to use like a soap puck, I usually put it in a bowl and then a microwave so it kind of melts and molds to the bottom of the bowl and then use my badger brush on there. Either one works really great. All right, here's something great to use. Pre-shave oil. You put this on your face before you start shaving, whether you're going to use a straight razor or any kind of razor, and it's just going to help lubricate the skin, give you a better shave, and I would highly recommend it no matter what you do. And I got this at a health food store. This one's made by Pacific, and I figured it was four or five bucks, but it lasts a really long time. It's a few drops, rub it in your skin, then you put on your shaving cream. I recommend it. Alright, this is my whetstone. This is made by Norton. This is something you really need if you're going to be doing um, straight razor shaving. This is Norton's 4,000, 8,000 grit stone. It's a half and half block. You want to start off on the 4,000 grit and work your way to the 8,000. You just get a little water, put it on there, kind of rub it around. This is my practice razor. This is an old crappy razor I found at the thrift store and it's great for practicing. It has a natural bevel on it that you're going to rest that blade right on that block. And you, when you lay it flat, it naturally has a tilt to it which lines it up perfect for sharpening. And I'm just going to run it a few times on that side. And a few times on this side. You might have to do this several times on both sides, depending on how dull your blade is. But if you have a chance to pick up a crappy one and practice your strokes, practice your the pressure you put on there. See how sharp you can get a crappy one before you bring out your hundred, two hundred dollar and up razor and destroy it on a whetstone. So practice, practice, practice. This is a Norton 8000, 4000. Best you can get. Thanks. All right, enjoying a great Rocky Patel edge. Nothing like a delicious Maduro edge. Mmm, that's a fucking good cigar. All right, having a cup of coffee this morning. I'm gonna do a little straight razor shaving. I'm gonna start off with pre shave oil. Now you don't need much of this, it actually just comes out in little drops. And you just kind of rub it on. It just helps lubricate the skin. Helps that raise the track a little bit better. I got my uh, soap, it's melted in like a, a, a puck, just a cheap puck from Walmart and I melt it, put it in here. It's going to lather up. I go from left to right because it's the way my hair grows. Alright. God, the Rocky Patel is good. Can you use a straight razor today? This is my Wade and Butcher. From the 1800s and I'm just doing a quick shave here um, there's some great videos on straight shaving out on YouTube you should check them out and I just put it on there just run it down keep a slight angle to it kind of a light touch Straight razor is great carbon lines. Now I have a goatee and I have long sideburns, so it makes it a little easier. I don't have as much area to shave. I'm gonna make sure to stretch the skin. 
It's gonna help those bristles stand up. This side's a little trickier for me. Matters if you're uh, left or right handed. Always keeping that skin nice and taut. See how easy that was? Now it doesn't take a whole lot of time in the morning. When you're done with your blade, always wipe it off. If you're going to store it for a long time, you might want to put a little mineral oil on it to keep it from rusting. And I'm going to let that dry before I stick it back in my case. I just kind of pat it dry a little bit. Finish it off with some good old fashioned Fanade Club Mint. This is kind of an old fashioned Woo! The old sting and slap. Old fashioned aftershave, it works great. That's it. Right back to enjoying my cigar. Straight razor shave. Pretty simple. Thanks.